Madison, Albemarle County is down about 16 bus drivers, and this shortage is really impacting routes. NBC 29's Isabel Cleary talks to a father who just wants to see his son get to school on time. A parent called into NBC 29 fed up. He says his lakeside sixth grader is missing out on a good chunk of the day because of a consistently late bus. He wants a solution. So, Prince Roper is a lakeside job, middle school day. parent. He says his son's bus has been late over and over since November. He has texts from last fall until now showing it. Over a 90 day span, it's probably been late 85 to 90 percent of the time. It's supposed to come at 8:42. When it was rather cold outside, three of the five days out of the week, the bus was late, and two of those days, it was 60 minutes late. Roper says he knows there's a shortage, but that's not why he is speaking up. He wants the school to help late students like his son. He's missing important information that he's supposed to be getting during school. Um, and there wasn't a plan in place to ensure that he gets that information. Michael Craddock is the principal at Lakeside Middle. He says there are a few things in motion. First block is a little bit longer than our other periods um, to help mitigate that. Um, our morning announcements are recorded and available through a link that um, students can access that we can share with them. Craddock says just one bus driver call out can start a ripple effect. Have there been a lot of call outs in the last kind of three months? Um, you know, it's hard for me to gauge. Uh, you know, I find out as, as the buses come in as to, you know, whether, you know, who's, who's late or not. I don't really have the data on how many are calling out or not calling out, but I think it's that lack of substitute drivers that is, um, as proving to be a challenge. Roper just wants to make sure his son is on track. I am uh, tired of dealing with it. Uh, some of these higher uh, stakeholders, like the bus dispatch personnel and the school service, they need to be held accountable and do their job. ACPS is having a recruiting event for bus drivers on February 18th. In studio, Isabel Cleary, NBC 29 News.